from NBC News. This is Today. Coming up next, we'll tell you about an athlete with the golden touch on and off the field. But first, this is Today on NBC. This morning on today's Extra Yard, an NFL kicker who is making a big difference in the lives of fans with his efforts off the field. Alex Flanagan from NBC's Football Night in America has the story. Alex, good morning. Good morning, good morning everybody. So nice to be here. Well, November 17th's game was memorable for Chicago Bears' Robbie Gold, not just because he kicked a game-winning field goal in overtime against the Ravens, but because the same storms that touched down during the game devastated Bears fans throughout the state. And Robbie knew that he had to help. It was an unusual start to a Chicago Bears home game in November. And this area then was elevated from a tornado watch to a tornado warning. Due to the inclement weather, the game will be temporarily suspended. Halfway through the first quarter, the game was suspended due to severe storms. You had heard maybe some rumblings about tornadoes. Uh, you hear that at times, especially in the Midwest. Uh, but realistically, how many times does it touch down? How many times does it do what it you see on TV in Joplin or other places. But just a few hours drive from Soldier Field, the storms did touch down, devastating small towns like Washington and Coal City. So you're dealing with a football game having no idea that there are people that are losing their lives and their homes. Not a clue. Uh, you had a game to prepare for. It wasn't until at night and you're scrolling through social media and you're like, oh my God, this really happened. You know, the immediate response was, let's go help. The devastation was incomprehensible. Over 2,000 homes damaged or destroyed. Robbie was determined to help, and he knows about persistence. He was cut twice as an NFL rookie and at one point was out of football working in construction, but stuck with it. The Bears picked him up in 2005, and since then he's become one of the most accurate kickers in the league with 1,000 career points. So it's no surprise that just 48 hours after the storm, Robbie and his teammates mobilized. They boarded a bus filled with supplies and headed out to aid in the cleanup. Can you describe what the devastation looked like? You can't. I mean, if I tried to explain to somebody that there's piles that are almost a story and a half tall of rubble, so you forgot about the game on Sunday when you went down there Tuesday. You forgot that you hit a game-winning kick, you forgot about the tackle. You really think about what's important in life. This is what's left of our house. Amy Strubar and her son James lost everything. I was at work and my son was here with my mom, got a phone call that the house was gone, they were stuck in the basement. After the tornado touched down, Amy found the Bears tickets that she had bought for her son's birthday buried in the rubble. For an afternoon, the two escaped reality. James had a chance to meet Robbie. To hear that his family had lost their home and then turn around and talk to him and he forgets all about it for at least two and a half, three minutes make, is a big deal to me. Carson and Logan Williamson saw the tornado thunder through town. I was feeling really scared when the power went off and when I heard when the tornado happened. They met Robbie on his second visit to help clean up efforts. It was really nice of them to come down. They didn't have to do that, but they chose to come down here. I'm very proud of our guys. They get it. They know that they're not just football players, that they're part of a larger community, and they really take that responsibility seriously. There is still a long way to go before things are even close to normal for the tornado victims. I don't want to forget about it, whatever the process is going to be. I want to be there from start to finish. I do think everyone will prevail. Robbie and his foundation will spend much of the upcoming year focused on continuing to help the victims. He's arranged a variety of events through his charity, The Golden Touch, with proceeds benefiting storm victims. And one of those things that he's doing includes this T-shirt. Wow. They've just uh, made this. I love that. He'll start selling this on his website in January, and all the proceeds will go to tornado victims. So. Oh, wow. Terrific. Have a message that right right prevails. Good guy. Fantastic. Alex, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Alex. Appreciate it. Robbie and his Chicago Bears, by the way, take on the Philadelphia Eagles this Sunday night. Coverage. <laughs> starts at 7 p.m. with Football Night in America right here on NBC. We'll be back in a moment, but first, this is today on NBC. Sorry, I can't go home without <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>